guys. Welcome to another episode of Power Platform TV. So today we're going to talk about how to use the pre-chat survey or pre-conversation survey uh, in a chat. So we went through and did like a, a few videos on the setup of a simple chat and how to use it and different uh, different functionality within an omni-channel and the experience in omni-channel. And so now we're going to talk about what, uh, how to set up these pre-chat surveys, okay? So they're actually really simple to set up. So uh, let's go ahead and try it out. So if we go over to the chat that we created earlier, this is the website chat. So if we go in here and then we click on the surveys tab. So when we click on the surveys tab, we get these two surveys um, that we can use. Uh, this one's the pre-conversation survey. And we also have the post-conversation that we'll look at another time. So the, the pre-conversation survey, that's the, that's the one uh, that we want to look at. We're going to turn this on. And here you can see we have the uh, pre-chat unauthenticated questions, right? So let's go ahead and click add question. So these are the questions that we're going to ask uh, anybody that comes to the chat. And so we can see here, we can provide a question name, uh, the question text, and the uh, question type, okay? So the, the type here, we have uh, these, these four different options. We have the uh, single line, uh, we have multiple lines, we have option set, and we have user consent, okay? Uh, let's go ahead and we, we'll just create one of these for each of these, right? Uh, so we can, we can take a look and see what they look like. So I'm gonna do single line firstly, and let's just call this uh, MS, uh, this the well the question name is uh, that's going to be the variable right so uh, we can just call this uh, color let's say and then we'll say uh, what is your favorite color right and we'll just make that a single line and we can choose whether to make this mandatory or not and let's just say no for this one okay so we can do a save and close here and wait for that to come through. And then we can go ahead and add some more of these, right? So there's the first one. Now we're gonna go and add a, another question and we'll make this one a uh, multiple lines, right? And uh, let's just call this one, uh, we go, may as well go through and just do the same example with the same colors, but we'll just show you how it looks as, you know, in a different way. So now this one's gonna be color uh, ML for multi-line. And then uh, what is, uh, and actually it doesn't, it says we cannot do it like that. We'll just do it like this. Okay, what is your favorite color? Favorite color. And I'll just put in brackets ML for multi-line and we'll just say no and that's fine like that. So uh, for whatever reason, if the, if the user wanted to enter in multiple colors, right? Now, uh, let's add another question here. And this one's gonna be color and it's gonna be, uh, this one's gonna be option set. So we click on option set, make it OS for option set. And what is your favorite color? and then brackets OS for option sets. So we know that it's an option set. And then here we have the the uh, option values that can go into this. So uh, let's say if we did, and I'm gonna show you what this looks like if we do it this way, and then I'm gonna show you how to fix it because there's kind of a little bit of a um, uh, annoyance, let's say when you actually do these values, but I'm gonna do uh, blue, red, orange, and purple. Okay, let's make this mandatory, why not? And we're gonna click save and close. And then I'll do a user consent as well. So let's say consent and then uh, consent just so we can see what this looks like. And it doesn't matter, just click no. Okay, so we have these uh, four uh, pre-chat survey uh, questions that are going to come in and it's already on the widget. Um, we have the widget here set up. Uh, so this is all ready to go. 
the only thing is we just have to wait 15 minutes, maybe less, just for this to kick in, right? I'm just going to click save. I didn't I think it's already saved, but basically it says here, right? It says on channel configuration changes take up to 15 minutes to reflect. So, um, you know, sometimes you make changes and you're like waiting around forever. It's like, uh, <laughs> why isn't my change coming through? And then you realize that uh, it's because the changes are not reflected automatically, you know? Uh, so if we actually went over to our chat, so let's close this one down. This one is from a previous session. I'm gonna close this, hit refresh here on the browser. And let's see if I open this up. Oh, it's automatic, it's very quick, wow. So <laughs> sometimes it's a bit faster than, than, uh, than 15 minutes, okay. So it says, so here we have, what is your favorite color, right? And I'm going to uh, make this, uh, let's say blue. And then what is your favorite color in, this is the multi-line, right? So I'm gonna say blue and red. So I'm just, it's free form text. I can type it like that. Um, and then we'll, we'll see what this looks like on the agent side when they receive this message coming through, right? And then uh, here it says, what is your favorite color like this? And it's actually put it all on, uh, this is the option set, right? But it's kind of put it all in one line. So that's, that's, that's not what we want. Um, the reason is because we didn't comma separate it. So that's the first thing. So I'm gonna fix that and then I'll show you what that looks like and then we'll come back, okay? Uh, and then the consent here, um, we just consent this here, right? Um, and you can see here, this is the required field. So that's one required field there. And none of the other ones, it looks like we made required, okay? Um, so I can consent or not, okay? So if I go ahead and submit this, let's just see uh, what this looks like from an agent perspective. And here's the chat coming in. So I'm gonna click accept. And let's see here, here's our chat. And then here's the pre-chat survey, right? So this is exactly what I typed in. Uh, we got the blue, the blue and the red, the all of the four here because I wasn't able to select anything else. And then I click true to the consent here, right? So let's just go and end this conversation and let's go back to the, um, configuration what I'm going to do let's open up this option set again and let's just go ahead and fix this so this needs to be uh, semicolons okay so we're going to add the semicolons in here and that looks good like that right so we've we've separated them uh, let's go and save and close and then uh, like I said this may or may not take 15 minutes let's um Let's, let's check it out and see if it's come through yet. If it hasn't, then uh, we'll just wait. So now if we go to the chat widget and let's take a look at it and we can see here that it's actually displaying uh, the drop down list, the option set correctly now, right? Um, we got blue, orange, purple, red, right? So the weird thing here is that we didn't put this in alphabetical order earlier. Uh, we actually um, it put it in a slightly different order, but it's it looks like it's alphabetized the option set, right? So um, let's take a look at the configuration and see what the configuration looks like at this point. So if we go back into the option set here, we're going to see something interesting. So it's kind of uh, taken what we had, um, and it, it still has it in the same order that we put it in, but you can see that it's not displaying it correctly, right? So one of the kind of hacks that I do here to get this to work is I just put a number in front of it, uh, something like this, right? So if we do this and three and make this one four, right? Um, let's take a look at this now. So I'm gonna hit save and close. And you know, this may take a, again, like if few minutes to be reflected, but let's take a look and see what it looks like. Okay, so now let's take a look at the chat widget, see if this has come through. So I'm gonna refresh this. And we can see here that if we click on the uh, option set, we have the option set ordered, um, starting with the numbers from one to four. And that way it's retained the uh, alphabetical uh, nature of what we've done. 
So let's just take a quick look at what this looks like on the other side for the agent. So I'm going to fill this in. Uh, blue and red and green. And we're going to pick here, let's say purple. Click the consent and click submit. And then we'll see this uh, chat request come through for one of our agents. Six out of this one. And I have a few browsers open, so it could have gone to any one of these agents. It's not this one. And here it is. I'm going to click accept. And if we look at the pre chat uh, survey variables down here, we have uh, basically, you see here it's showing the number four dash purple. Okay, so keep that in mind if you're using the actual variable for any kind of routing or anything like that. So that's what it looks like, pre-conversation survey variables. Hope you guys enjoyed, thanks. So that's it guys, if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and of course, check out my blog at carldesouza.com. Thank you.